Hey. 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 <laughs> no explanation needed for these two. That already, uh, I think Rick and I already managed to kind of explain him and his legacy and legendary status. So I'm not going to say it. <laughs> and Rick, uh, I'm very lucky. I'm very happy to be able to even chat with him. And he's always been presented to me as an uncle, but today was the first time I ever met him. So that's really a good moment for me. And. Uh, I just think that what you're doing on YouTube is revolutionary. I just told you, you have now over 165,000 subscribers, and, which is amazing, especially for a music YouTuber. Uh, and I just uh, researched you a lot and talked with my dad a lot. And there are these times in the 80s where you were really into high information music and were doing all these amazing sessions with my dad, those videos with Sky, Lovar, Vinny, etc. with my dad, it was 87, 89. And then my dad told me that there's this time period after the 90s where you kind of left the scene, moved to Atlanta, and you got into record producing. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. after 15, 20 years, you, <laughs> you came yeah. back yeah. and kind of switched the timetables and, and are back, and you're back with the high information music and the amazing, as I said, revolutionary status on YouTube. I just want you to kind of explain that. Uh, so I, I moved to Atlanta at the end of 94, um, right after your brother, I saw your mom and your dad and your brother when he was one, I think, right. and right. just before, and, and I moved to Atlanta right at the end of November yeah. 94. And <clears throat> I started producing a few years later, I was, I was playing in bands, but I started producing probably about two years later, and I didn't really have anything to do with, you know, the jazz or classical music for Jeez, until my wife was pregnant with Dylan, mm. and that was in 2007. So it was, it was about 10 years of, of, of nothing. No more than that, 13 years. Just, yeah, 13 years of, of no. Was there a reason that you decided that, or is that where your career took you? I was just, yeah, that's my career. I, I was successful in producing, and, um, and it was kind of a new thing to learn. I, learned, I really enjoyed the engineering part of it, actually, as much as the, the production part. And um, then when my wife was pregnant with Dylan, I said, I'm going to start playing music for him before he was born. And then I said, I'm going to make playlists. So I made playlists of your dad. And that's why I played Dylan. <laughs> and that's why, that's why Dylan can hear all that stuff. <laughs> okay, you're, you're, got used to hearing it for a while. I, I'm a believer in that theory. And when my dad went to Atlanta back in 2015, I wasn't quite involved with this specific scene yet, but even then, I was getting to a path where I understood that my dad's music improves the year, and I think improves the brain. Yeah, improves the brain. <laughs> Not as much as the soul. I feel a change. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I Even I feel a change. Maybe not exactly perfect pitch, but it just changes your ears the way he plays the music. Do you think, is it possible that you play your music according to the uh, yeah, I, you know, I love hearing sounds almost. It's almost like not really about notes. Really. It's almost like I, I, I'm a baby, and our wives remind us of that too. You know, they say, "Hey, because we're all over the place." You know? <laughs> well, you know, we, you know, I'm sure we doesn't in a way that doesn't mean that we're all over the place now. But the focus, uh, and we're not raising up kind of musicians. We're normal people, we read, we can be aware of everything in the world, yeah. you know, and everything like that. We love babies, that's why we went back to, go to Istanbul just for you to just get yeah. connected with the warm world, not really like a, you know, you know, jazz world or some classical world of New York or anything like that. We yeah. need more to, uh, f for us to be driven for some reason. Yeah. I know, so my case, I've done so many different gigs and concerts over the last 20 years too, like written, because then probably maybe, I, I can speak, both of us gave us different perspective of the changes, the melody, the thickness, or the thinness, doesn't really matter really, the richness of the, 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 the texture, and the, the timbre of sounds is everything for us, and for me too, I remember him as long as I remember, you know, Coming here and have to share on it with him and his friends, dear friends. He's, He's a believer. Yeah, yes. He we're was one of the first people who was aware yes. of this. 
I knew it the first day yes. I went to Boston. Yeah. I'm we were old. Yeah. I went and found your dad the I heard him play Cafe Bouquet. First day I went into Boston. He was playing a gig. Yeah. I'm gonna tell the story tonight, but uh, and uh, I saw him play with Donna McCaslin at the Cafe Bouquet. It was just I never heard anything so. And and uh, you were playing some keyboard and he, he was sold at first. I don't know who else was playing, maybe Marcello or some better. He would have been playing with a quartet there, but it was right when I first got there. Oh well, guy that I fin. Yeah. Oh uh, like Donnie, yeah. Yeah. Was kind of Donnie was forth. definitely playing. And he yeah. was but he was soloing when I walked into place and all these Berkeley all these Berkeley kids were there. Yeah. And then all of a sudden your dad took a solo and I <laughs> what was this? And then I got scared. And then I went back home and I told my roommate I said he said, did you go into Boston? I said, yeah. I said, I went and heard this band that was unbelievable. And that this keyboard player was, blew my mind. And he says, what, what was he playing? I said, I don't even know what he was playing, but I'm going to go back and find him tomorrow. So I went through every Berkeley practice room, looked in the windows, and I found you. You were there practicing. You're doing a tree, like rehearsing with the trio. And I waited till you stopped and I knocked on the door, introduced myself. And we went and had pizza. We've done so much great stuff, and we stayed in Boston, and that moved on, you know. Now you were there, you know, doing the thing, and then some... And now it's your turn. Yeah, you know, then that deal, and the girls, you know, you're an icon, out of your brother, Sneakle, and Big shoes to fill them up. No, 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 you're already beyond us, I heard it, we hear it, and Rick heard it, right? A couple of minutes ago, a few things, so it's all good, we're so proud, thanks. I have a question about, especially because you're really interested in my dad's old recordings. Uh, I've <laughs> because uh, when I started playing, I was always listening to new version of my dad, and that's why it was very odd to me when I listened to your old ones because they're almost there's almost mm, uh, at a zero level of connection for me. Uh, do you have anything to say about that? Well, I don't know what you mean by zero level of connection. Well, uh, what I mean is... Change. Yeah. The play. As you say... Oh, but your dad changed years. every... I told him, do yeah. not... <laughs> your dad changed every two months. His playing was completely yeah, different. It was a different that's style. So there were, there were 30 styles in between. <laughs> there's, there's no style. So there's, 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 there's no style. There's no style. There's no style. But it'll it's be... Yeah. It's, but it's, it's, you know... It'll be one thing on one minute, and then three minutes later, it's something different. So, that's right. Yeah, you were wondering about it. He was, yeah, I was yeah. curious about it because in, I think the, the 2015 is different, the 2015 April is different, the 2015 March is different, but in that 30 year especially, I think that Boba, you developed like the more base of simplicity and that's what you're teaching on me to use simplicity as the most important thing. Hopefully, we're working a lot. You have me to an icon too. I know he does work with the children too. Yes, now it's much better than I mean, today. Is going to be, you know, much innovative. Hopefully, because it's still about a lot of notes. But we uh, found a way probably in those uh, concerts that this was very shareable with the humankind in a way that, you know, there are things in it that uh, because he sometimes a producer can stop an artist and say, let's do it like that or something like that so people can really catch up with the tempo and tempi. Mm -hmm. So that's why he was a good kind of example just to put those things, even though it's still old me, but I was trying to delete or add to it so I'm yeah. getting much better, hopefully, to, to present it in a different way to you guys and the future generations, that's important. That's why it challenged me. By, he challenged me by now, even though we had a couple of, you know, talks about it and even screamed at some that I begged him kindly to put them all out of the scene. But he, I mean, he did for about 20 hours. And then what do I oh, see? Couple years. But, yeah. The, right, <laughs> but again, he was kind of laughing, but at the same time, also, he's got the new ones too, but we will do much more, hopefully, and we're talking about yeah. a lot of important things these days, yeah. and today, how we ended up here all together, we're going to talk but, about but, hopefully, yeah. But one of the things is that um, I think it's important to, to present the entire history, because everybody, people, the fact that we have videos, you know, they, people never heard this, you know, 200 years ago, you didn't know how Bach played when he was young, or Mozart or Beethoven, you didn't know how they played when they were old. 
There's no videos. You can see from what they wrote, but that doesn't tell you anything about their improvisations. And all, these guys were improvisers back then, like your dad. And um, the fact that we actually have videos and we can we can trace that lineage. I mean, I want to see the videos from 94, 95, and 96, 97, yeah. and then really put the, the montage together and yeah. in all those years. Yeah. I just don't have access to that stuff. I mm -hmm. no. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah, we will full get you some. There are not much of that little bit. But anyway, we'll, we'll do the work. Yeah. You're right. So. Yeah.